Good evening everyone and welcome to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. My name is Tom Novak and today we're going to do an unboxing. Plus I'm going to show you the pots I got from Roy also. Today's Friday night, uh, June 11th of 2021, 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees Celsius, a hot muggy night. So let's get down to brass tacks here. First of all I got Royce got me 20 pre-bonsai green mound junipers and he got them from Evergreen Nursery. I know they sell they sell to everybody so don't be afraid to look them up. So we got about 10 stone bottom pots from Roy. I got four blue ones. I got Two, I don't know what you call them. They look like a nice stone flower pot type deal. They feel like clay. And then I have one of these. I have another one of these. So maybe we can put our junipers in there. I can't believe the pots he, he sent. Now comes the real challenge. He gave me one of these pots. This is heavier, heavy like you wouldn't believe. So he wants to see if I can put a bonsai tree in there. But there's the tail end of it. But there's no drainage holes, and it doesn't. He, he doesn't want drainage holes in them. Okay, so let's put these pots on the side so I can show you the bigger ones. I don't want to break these because I know they're expensive. So, here is one over here that he doesn't, he wants a bonsai tree in there, but he doesn't want holes drilled in it. So this is what it looks like. This is the bottom. It's got, I don't know about, Nice clay bottom to it. There's the back side. There's another one, but he doesn't want no drainage holes in them. Because he wants to be able to display them. Now here's a real nice pot. Ooh, if I can lift it. It's got the cranes on there. It's got the legs that are hollow. But there's there's the pot if you can see it better. So this will be another challenge. I have to put a bonsai tree in that with no drainage holes. So we're gonna have to figure something out on that. Now here's another one he gave me. It's an old waterfall. Here's the back. Here's the front. So this thing is useless except for the rocks. So I think I can chip the rocks away and make have some nice rocks for bonsai. Because there's no way I'm going to get this to run without investing a lot of time and money into it. But these rocks should chip away because they're just glued in. But that's it. So we waste not nothing. Now we come to the unboxing and here are the green mound junipers that Roy got in the mail for me so let's cut the box open I know these been in shipping so what I'm gonna do is let them uh, relax a good day because of this heat because I don't know how stressed out they are but what I'm going to do is take, take what they're, the plastic that they're in because, and then I'm going to put some uh, drainage holes in the plastic, open up the neck. And this way here they can breathe until I can pot them all. What I'm going to do though is pot them and then I'm going to clip them. 
Oh, they got this thing packed really good. I'm dying to see what they look like, and I know you're dying to see what they look like, too. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. Get this one out of the way. And let's see what surprise we have in store on the inside. Oh, they got them packed really, really nice. Let me see if I can keep stepping on the cord. I have to figure a way to get this cord away from me. What? There they are. 20 green mound junipers. Let me see if I can get one out so you can see what it looks like. Because I know they tie these down good. Now these are a smaller one. There we go. Look at that. So what I'm going to do is poke some holes in here. Open up the collar so that they can uh, get out of shock and then I can repot them all. There's another one. They're all grown in a windswept way. So I'm going to have to remove all of these out of here. I can't believe how nice they were packed, how solid they are inside. But in order for these to survive, for me to get them to plant, I'm going to have, you're going to have to poke holes in there if you can't really do it. And then open up this neck part because if you don't, they'll get moldy or they'll dry out. But here's another nice one. A lot of pruning to do on that before I can give it to him. See, they're all different. So they're all different sizes and shapes that you get. Let's pull one more out so I don't bore you to death. There we go. I'm going to have to unpack them all. But you can see, look at this one. Look at a twist on this one. Look at that. Nice one. This one's nice too. It's got a lot of foliage. I'm going to have to trim to make it look like a bonsai tree. And get it in the pot. The root balls are small. So that's good. Yep, there's 20 in here. Look at that. All nice trees. Well, I got a Herculean task to do tonight before morning comes. So, if you have any ideas on the pots that are have no holes in there, let me know in the comments below. We'll see what we can do. So, today's Friday night. It's dance night. Put on, grab your wife, your loved one. Put the kids to bed. Grandma and grandpa. Your babysitting, put the kids to bed, the grandkids to bed. Make yourself a nice hot pot of tea. Put on some old big band music. Take your loved one, your wife. Just dance, kick the table and chairs on the side. Dance to the music. Then sit down and relax. It's a nice hot cup of tea. And just listen to the music for the rest of the day. So... My night ain't done yet. It's 9 o'clock and I got a ways to go. So you take care and thank you for coming to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors.